Mastering passive voice. Spot the past participle. Hello learners. Welcome back to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to dive deep into a fascinating aspect of the English language, the passive voice, specifically focusing on the topic, spotting past participles. We will take simple sentences and identify the use of passive voice by spotting past participles. So, let's get started. The passive voice is used when the focus is on the action, not who or what is performing the action. And how do we form this passive voice? It's by using a form of to be and the past participle of the main verb. For example, in the sentence, the cake was eaten by John, was eaten, is an instance of passive voice. Was is a form of to be and eaten is the past participle of the verb eat. Past participles are usually words that end in ed, n, d, t, n, or ne for regular verbs in English. But remember, there are many irregular verbs whose past participle forms are different. Now that we've got a grip on the basic concepts, let's apply them to some examples. We will take simple sentences and identify the passive voice by spotting past participles. 1. The book was written by Mary. The past participle here is written. 2. The food has been cooked. The past participle here is cooked. 3. The letters were sent yesterday. The past participle here is sent. As we see, the past participles written, cooked, and sent follow a form of to be and transform the sentence into passive voice. Now it's time for you to practice. I'll give you a few sentences, and I want you to identify the past participles and say whether or not they are used in the passive voice. 1. The apples are eaten by the children. 2. The woman painted a beautiful picture. 3. The project was managed by a talented team. Take your time and comment down your answers. We will review them in the next video. Fantastic job, learners! You're making great progress in mastering the passive voice in English. Keep practicing the identification of past participles in sentences, and you'll be a pro in no time. Remember, language learning is a marathon, not a sprint. Every bit of practice helps. Stay tuned for our next session where we'll discuss more interesting aspects of the English language. Keep learning, and see you soon.